There is important news in Europe tonight that could reach all the way to Wall Street. The Prime Minister of Greece has survived a no-confidence vote, which means despite the riots in the streets, the Greek government will continue to drastically cut its budget in order to get a bailout loan. Elizabeth Palmer is in Athens. It was a narrow victory for the government, but a defeat for thousands of protesters outside who are devastated with the state's plan for punishing austerity measures that are going to hurt. But that's the price of avoiding a financial meltdown that could go global. European banks and governments are willing to lend Greece the emergency billions it needs to pay its creditors, but only if the Greek government moves first with deep cuts. It's a risky move. A year ago, riots broke out when lenders forced Greece to introduce tax hikes on income and fuel and pension cuts of 20%. This time, the government is set to sell inefficient state companies into private hands, cutting thousands of jobs in an economy that's already shrinking. Unemployment is a stubborn 20%. <laughs> Pericles <laughs> Danopolo lost his job a year ago. He was an accountant. <laughs> now he's an activist, raising two kids on a social security payment of less than $700 a month. What do you tell them about why you haven't got a job and you can't find a job? The truth. The truth. They understand. But what Greeks don't understand is how they ran up $400 billion in debt. Partly it was generous social benefits that let them retire on average at 53 years old. But they prefer to blame official corruption. It's already shaping up to be quite the fight. Now, Greek unions have already uh, organized a series of rolling blackouts, and there are already calls also for a general strike. Scott? Liz, help us understand, how do troubles there relate to investors here at home? Well, uh, massive debt here, um, owned by Europe, uh, European and some U.S. banks. Now, if they were to lose the billions of dollars they've already lent to Greece, then that could freeze up the world's credit market, similar to uh, the crisis that followed the Lehman Brothers collapse back in 2008. Thanks, Scott? Liz.